Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use some of these cherries and some lemon to garnish this, a Tokyo tea. But first, this. All right, so let's get into it. Now, the Tokyo tea is a variation of the Long Island iced tea, and there's been a huge feud between Tennessee and New York over who exactly created the first Long Island iced tea. But let's travel across the pond to Japan, where we find a huge interest in melon liqueurs and melon cocktails. So much so that some enterprising bartenders have put their own stamp on the Long Island iced tea by creating the Tokyo tea. So let's get into it. So the first thing, of course, I need is my mixing glass. The next thing I need, of course, is what would be my five whites for a Long Island iced tea, but it's not. We've got the four whites and the melon liqueur, which replaces the triple sec right here, right? So the first thing, of course, we need of my little jigger and everything has the same ingredient size. And when I say that measurements, it's really, really simple. We're talking half an ounce or 15 milliliters. And I've got a uh, flight vodka here. It's another local vodka to where I live. And it's got this interesting little pour thing on it. So we need half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Of course, we're gonna move to the next of those and that's our gin. And I'm gonna use a beef feeder dry gin. This is uh, made from London and I really should take a day to just make everything local if I can get away with that, except for tequila. Tequila is just not local no matter how I do it. So we need uh, half an ounce or 15 milliliters. The next thing of course is we need a little bit of rum. And we're gonna use some Bacardi rum here. And again, we're going to do half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Oops. Next, we have some tequila. Again, te I'm using a Cazador tequila because I bought a whole ton of this when we went into COVID-19 lockdown. And uh, it does, however, have that really nice cork sound, which is, you know, I kind of got a thing for those. And again, half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now the next of our is our melon liqueur. And what we're going to add here is again, the same amount, half an ounce, 15 mils, and I'm using a McGuinness liqueur here. I wish I had a bottle of Midori, which is of course Japanese for melon, and, but I don't, have a co I don't have access to it at the moment. Now, it wouldn't be a proper Long Island iced tea variant if, of course, we didn't add a little bit of lemon juice. And, of course, we want half an ounce. Now, some people will use a, uh, a sweet and sour mix, but what we're doing is we're actually just adding that. And that's an equal half of lime or lemon to an equal amount of simple syrup. And I'm using a one-to-one -one simple syrup. And we're going to use half an ounce of that as well. And if I carry, flipped it over the right way, it would pour properly. Not too bad. I'm gonna grab our little bit of a shaker here. We'll throw some uh, ice in here. And we're going to shake this for about 10 seconds. Yes, very nice. Of course, next thing we need is a glass to serve this in. We're gonna put this into a highball glass, also known as a Collins glass. And we're gonna put this over some ice. I apparently didn't want that ice in there. So we'll just give this a little bit of a strain. We don't really don't need to, but. That is very green. It actually looks like it's coming right out of a melon. Absolutely nice, but we're not done. We need to top this up with a little bit of sparkling water or seltzer, or in this case, I'm using club soda. And you just want to top it up slightly.
gorgeous. Now we have this lemon here, and what we're going to do is we're gonna put a garnish in. So remember, you don't have to garnish it if you don't want to. However, the proper garnish is, of course, a lemon wheel and a maraschino cherry. So you just wanna give yourself a nice thin little lemon wheel here. Put that here. And you know what? We're almost done. Let's get a maraschino cherry and my lemon wheel is having problems. Like half of my garnishes, I can't seem to give it a nice, beautiful, good looking garnish. So we're gonna take this. We're just gonna put this right here. There you go. And now we have a proper Tokyo tea. So what do you think? Looks good. Looks really, really nice. I'm gonna use my bendy steel straw here. Just give this a bit of a stir and let's try it out. Oh yeah, that's good. The melon brings a little bit of an added sweetness and a different flavor to it. It doesn't completely hide all of the different alcohols, unlike a Coke would. I do, however, get this awesome looking drink out of it. And it really does look good. Mm. And you know, you know what? I don't need a straw. Mm -mm. You know what? If you like Long Island iced teas, I'm sure you'll like this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous cocktail. It tastes great. It's got good coloring. It smells good. You get the hints of uh, all the different alcohols and the melon just on you. You know what? If you think I should use different versions of any of these, let me know. Leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to uh, debate that matter with you and figure out what's best. Maybe we'll do another version of it later with different alcohols, right? But I am going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description just below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. That way, Every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. But if you don't like a whole bunch of these different versions of alcohol, or the fact that it's such a good looking cocktail, hit the thumbs down button twice, and we'll see you next time. But we travel across the pond. Now the Tokyo tea is a variation of the Long Island iced tea, and there have been a huge there have been. And this is again, it's the five whites minus the tequila 